pieces of wood. He's had bowling balls dropped on his head from four feet. He's impervious to pain as long as it's in his head. Jiving Jimmy, unfortunately, didn't even have a chance to get started. Look at that head butt right into the solar plexus and now threatening to go after the referee. How were you able to tell that that was the solar plexus? <laughs> That's a good point. I've seen six back downs before. It's the first time I've seen a quarter peg. For the run goes David Jimmy, look out. Puts the brakes on, does big Gino Martino. Nice hip toss right there by Jivin Jimmy. A scoop, a scoop up, and a big body slam. And for the first time here on NWA on fire, Gino Martino's got some competition. Capone going up to the middle rope. Jivin Jimmy up. Jivin Jimmy down and crashes right into the head of the Coney Island strongman. This crowd does not appreciate Gino Martino whatsoever. Look at this. The big 300 plus pound Gino Martino going up in no man's land. Drops a head butt from the top. I think that's tackle. over. One, two, three. Martino victorious oh, once again the here on SWA on fire. Gino Martino. Unbelievable. Let's take a look at this, Ricky O. Once again, that huge headbutt picking up. Taking it up to the top rope right now. And I don't know what a guy his size is doing up there, but watch him come crashing down into the midsection. I think I saw ribs break. Boom! And Gino Martino chucks up another victory as the action-packed excitement of NWA on fire continues in just a moment. Stick around! NWA on Fire returns to Mexico, Maine at the Mexico Recreation Center Friday night, July 24th with a 7.30 p.m. start. See in action the 7'1 Giant Pharaoh, Heavyweight Champion Apollo, the Latin Hit Squad, Dynamite Tim Orsons, Bakua, and all the NWA superstars that special Friday night, Mexico, Maine at the Mexico Recreation Center. Be there. Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Tommy from Tommy's Corner. Coming to you again and next to me is BBB Boston bad boy Jason Rumble and he represents the very first class of NWA on Fire Wrestling School. Jason, what do you think of this first class? I thought they were great. It's an honor and a privilege for first and foremost for the NWA on Fire Board of Directors to elect me to be the training seminar person for this first ever NWA on Fire wrestling class. These five gentlemen, which we only have, you know, limited amount of time, right. limited amount of space, That's right. they gave me heart determination and drive it was the hardest decision in the world I'm still deciding on who may go on in this but I want to let each and every one of these guys know I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart for letting me beat the everlasting heck out of these guys they puked in barrels they had muscle swords that they couldn't believe but I wouldn't be a student of professional wrestling if I didn't take the training that was given to me by the late, great, legendary Walter Kilikowalski so that these guys know what it's actually like to be a professional wrestler. Exactly. You showed them it wasn't exactly a piece of cake. Nor a can of corn, Tommy. That's right. And they didn't give up on you, did they? No, they didn't. After beating the heck out of these guys for basically nine hours one day, each and every one of these guys showed up one hour early before the class even started right. to go over what they wanted to go over what? so that they could get better that's and I'm right. proud of these guys it's you know incredible. what that's the beginning of it that's the beginning of determination and that's what you got to have in your heart to even think about being a professional that's wrestler. true it was a very trying experience I did a lot of things I didn't think I could push myself to do but I kept up with it and I did it and it's a great class if you think you have what it takes I would strongly advise it this class is tough, it's brutal, 
And if you've got strength and you've got heart, then come join the NWA class on fire. As you can see, we took the two-day class for wrestling, and it was just a dream come true. We had a great trainer in uh, Jason Rumble, Boston Bad Boy. If you think you can do it, come out and do it, and I know you won't regret it. It was awesome. Jason threw us through the ringer on this course, and I had the best time of my life. I'm living my dream. This training has just been amazing. Uh, it, was, it was extremely hard. Put forth all my effort, everything that I had. I just loved it. I can't wait to get in the ring and, and actually be able to, to further my training even more and just learn from all the superstars. We had Cousin Larry here, uh, Tony Atlas, Bobby Robinson, amazing. We also had one other trainee who couldn't be here. He had to unfortunately leave. Jeremy, he just wanted, he got a hold of me to say thanks to the NWA and the entire crew, everyone that was here. He had an awesome time and it's just an honor to be part of this class and train with the guys that I did. Okay, you heard it. You heard the excitement in their voices. You know how up they are on this. You know how tough this course is. But if you got it in your heart to be a professional wrestler and you think you can make it, you tune in to NWA on Fire or click on to nwaonfire.com. Keep watching that TV and I'll see you again soon. NWA on fire is on the air. Hi again, gang. Brian Webster along with Ricky O. I know you're mesmerized, but try and pay attention. We got Sammy Joe, and we've got the lovely, naughty Adriana set to hook it up here this week. Hook it up. Hook the horns, baby. We've got Texas taking on New York right now. And I'll tell you what, i got to say, the winner of this matchup right now is going to be the number one contender going into the Women's Battle Royals for the NWA Championship. And what a feather in the cap for whoever becomes the ladies champion someday down the road here on NWA on fire. Referee with some, uh, some checkups here. I'm sure he's enjoying his job tremendously. All right, referee calls for the bell. And this one, ladies and gentlemen, is, is underway. underway. All right, I like your hat, by the way. I actually borrowed this from Sammy Joe. You know, these the women are my favorite competitors here in NWA on Fire. You got the grand niece on the mother side to Stan Hansen in the ring right now. You got Naughty Adriana, just both. You know what? She's evil. Oh, in she, a sexy kind of way. She's naughty. Oh, and she's being rocked from pillar to post here by tough Sammy Joe. Off the ropes, here comes Adriana. Down goes Adriana. And check out those fishnet stockings. Brian, contain yourself, Brian. A couple weeks ago, we had your son on the program. Look out for the ride. Once again goes Adriana. Sammy Joe put her head down a bit too soon. Telegraph that one, Brian. Absolutely. Oh, big right hand. I'll tell you, these ladies, uh, some of these ladies, most of these ladies here on the roster are as tough as the men, if not tougher. And now outside to take a powder goes think, Naughty Adriana. I, I think Sammy Joe right now 100% underestimated the weight of Naughty Adriana. She picked her up like a feather and whipped her over almost like in a 360 type maneuver. Look at this now. We're going to go to break, Brian. We'll be right back after these commercial messages from our sponsor. NWA on Fire returns to Portland, Maine, Saturday night, July 25th, at the Stevens Avenue Armory. In action, the seven foot one giant pharaoh, heavyweight champion Apollo, Big Rick Fuller, making a special appearance. Mr. Backlund, the Latin Hit Squad, the Golden Boy, Makua, and Dynamite, Tim Arson. Saturday night, July.